Hello and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie with me, Matthew Caddis, Iggy Poogie. So today we will start Rusty Bucket Bay, and that requires us, of course, to make our way uh, further up. Um, also, I don't know if I got the witch switch jiggy. Um, that uh, was for um, BZZP, but um, sorry if I didn't, I guess. It's a very hard one to get. Uh, that being said, let's make our way again through the um, underwater area. And um, we did go through here before. The difference is we need to raise the water level even further up. Because, well, yeah, we can't reach the actual entrance to the stage, seriously. So there is actually, oh, there are a couple of switches we can actually press in order to um, raise the water level. And yeah, it isn't immediately obvious where they are, but uh, yeah. So firstly, I want to go up the stairs here, up the ship. And you will see there a door, and also an annoying monster we, we can get some health off of. Um, and then we will head to the left here. And backflip our way up to another sleeping cauldron. So yes, that is um, actually quite a good um, thing to uh, uncover there. Uh, because it will make it easier to get back here. Over here to the left, and we'd have to flap our way over here, is a rareware crate, and underneath is a switch that will raise the water level a bit further. And indeed, um, to the point where we can actually um, <coughs> do that, basically. I don't even want to think about it. Um, weirdly enough, um, that does add... Well, we don't know if we see him wearing a... A frog to hide a lump, as Grunty suggested just there. But in the game over sequence, you see when you lose all your lives, um, which does happen, um, you will see um, Grunty turning, well, pretty much into a beautiful woman, and and Tooty, Banjo's sister, turning into what can only, I could only describe as Klungo's girlfriend. Seriously. Um, only more bearish, I guess. And yeah, apparently we cannot get through here for some reason. Yeah, if only we had a certain ability that was in this game's sequel, but never mind, we can pound through this at least and go through here to find the Jiggy Puzzle for Rusty Bucket Bay. And indeed, all I need to do is place all the Jiggies and Rusty Bucket Bay is now open! So yeah. Um, though we will need to swim down in order to get to the entrance. Yes, apparently, um, that is most definitely the thing here with the level. And, and I do like Rusty Bucket's Bay, Rusty Bucket Bay's music. It is stuck in my head ad nauseum, seriously. But, uh, let's go in anyway, because, um, Rusty Bucket Bay centers around the aforementioned Rusty Bucket, the giant cargo ship here that's pretty much stuck here and leaking oil and various other things. But for now, I want to make my way um, in there. Oh yes, that is the infamous boiler room. And thank goodness I'm playing the Xbox 360 version because, okay, no, I chickened out, but that leads to the infamous boiler room, where it is very easy to die. And more on that a bit later. For now, I'm just getting a few more notes and whatnot. So, yeah. Um, and one of the things you can do of all the rusty buckets is actually uh, pound open or peck open the some of the glass windows, indeed. Um, some of the gingers are definitely behind there. Anyway, that being s and as well as more notes, obviously. So, that being said, I want to go over here to the, um, well, from here it is the leftmost uh, smoke funnel. Because if we get up here and uh, go around, and be wary, there's another monster there. Yeah. And... Um, and yes, I did see that shotgun pad. That um, propels us upwards towards that uh, chimney or funnel, should I say. So yeah. Uh, however, 
I want to go up to this one first, and let's see what's up here. Indeed, this is actually where the Jiggy is. So yes, the first Jiggy in Rusty Bookie Bay. Fairly easy! Not all the Jiggies in Rusty Bookie Bay are that easy, though. Seriously. I have had a... Especially one which requires you to go into the aforementioned um, boiler room. So, that being said, let's see what's up here anyway. Uh, another mumbo token. There is no mumbo transformation for Rusty Bucket Bay, but um, there is for the next and final level, Click Clock Wood. Oh yes, uh, the game I referenced in, or the level I referenced in my... Um, a uh, playthrough of Kirby Superstar is in there. <laughs> anyway, let's go in here firstly. In this room, we have an explosive TNT box. Yes. And unlike in Crash Bandicoot, they will actually follow you and explode. Instead of, um, I mean, you jump on them or, well, in Crash's case, um, spin into them. So, yeah. And let's go over here to get some more notes. Yeah. It is worth your while going through here. As I say, there are j some gingos, as I mentioned. Um, so, yeah. And the uh, music for the interior of the ship is very, very different to the uh, music for the exterior, seriously. It's, in this case, this sounds more like a sea shanty. So, um, I don't think we'll be waiting for the Weller Man to come. What? You didn't think I... I knew of that song. Oh yes I do, thanks to one Nathan Evans. Anyway, that being said, let's go up here and uh, backflip. And indeed, um, not uh, go that way. Yeah, if anything I do not like about the Xbox 360 version, it is the fact that the um, in certain areas the lighting is not great. Seriously. So it's very hard to make your way around certain areas as well. Seriously, uh, something that I think the uh, um, original N64 version did better. I mean, the um, to be fair, um, the controls are better on the um, 360 version. It has the better controller compared to the um, uh, N64. Seriously, that has not aged well in my opinion. Ah, uh, you may differ than so be it. Um, in here, however, there is a, um... Well, no, just a few notes and, in, and an enemy here. Seriously, that's all. Um, so yeah, these, um, annoying lifesavers will pretty much, um, attack you. Seriously. Um, if we go over here, we will see, uh, TNT box. Again, that is necessary to reach the, um... I didn't see a second big boss, because we did kind of have um, bosses with the Snippet Mutants in um, Clanker's Cavern and the um, Flibbits, the Yellow Flibbits in uh, Bubble Gloop Swamp, but I didn't say they weren't really big bosses, just enemy rushes or slightly stronger enemies. Anyway, if you press down on the crane, it will drop the uh, TNT box onto the... Um, deck of the ship revealing a huge hole and indeed our um, major boss for Rusty Bucket Bay. So in order to get up there we need to well um, get back on the ship and that ain't gonna be easy because you remember that I said that it was leaking oil. Well the oily water around the Rusty Bucket um, uh, if you swim in it, even if you are above water, will take away your air! Seriously, I'm not joking! You'll kind of see that, I don't know if you'll see it in this episode, but you will in the next one, I think. Uh, so, yeah. And, narrow platforming. Again, this one isn't too bad. Um, these cost you Kazooie's blue eggs, though. So, yeah. And timing is especially good with... I, I, I know these enemies there. Although, if you want the yellow ginger, um, a walk across here is pretty good. Okay, I guess we'll talk about the uh, oily water after all. Yeah, seriously. If you, um... Um, one thing you can do, and it, although it isn't always foolproof, you can actually slow down the thing and go at normal speed by having Kazooie flap. 
um, isn't completely uh, foolproof because you still lose air for the time you were still in the water, even above, above the surface. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that is one way of getting past it. Although there is another ginger under there. Uh, seriously, under that uh, factory. No, not factory, silly, some sort of cargo hold anyway. But anyway, let's go through here and get back on the uh, rusty bucket. And um, where we want to go is around to the right um, to face the boss. Thankfully, I have plenty of um, blue eggs, which is good because we'll need them for this boss. A giant TNT box that will uh, pursue you, namely Boss Boom Box. Yes, seriously. And if you remember the uh, Amiiboys from Ratchet and Clank, this is exactly like that! Um, the more... eventually, although he takes a bit more hits than the Amiiboys. Yes, see what I mean? Yeah, just like the Amiiboys are split into different uh, pieces of Boss Boom Box. So yeah, the best way I find to get him is with uh, the Ratatap Wrap for most of the time. Not always, you may want to use Kazooie's Blue Eggs, um, which um, do work, although the aiming can be a bit off here. Seriously, don't poop them out, seriously, that's just asking for trouble. Uh, because Kazooie can fire them forward like three at a time, which does work against the... Um, 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 slightly bigger and medium-sized boxes. Not so much against the smaller ones. They move too quickly. So I just resorted to using the Wonder Wing on them. Not all the time. I don't. I don't want to waste my golden feathers. Of course not. Uh, so yeah. Okay. So here he comes. Uh, to the best. Oh no no no. That, that's Knuckles' theme. Okay. So I'm gonna have to use the Wonder Wing here to finish off the smaller boxes. And then with that done, we will actually get his Jiggy. Seriously. Well, you are made of wood, mate! Seriously! <laughs> anyway, that being said, I think that will actually do it for this episode. I don't get any more Jiggies in this episode, so yeah. So I will see you on the next one. Goodbye!